Welcome back, episode three of the golf build. Last time I took care of the rusty frame rails at the back of the car, getting rid of all the rusty stuff, replacing it with new sheet metal, and it's now solid, it's rust free, and I can move on to the next part, which is gonna be the fenders, both inside and outside. So this is the first time I'm actually gonna be working on like a visible part of the car. Exciting, it was an interesting part of the build. I once again learned a lot, which you will also be able to see in the video. So without any further ado, here's episode three, enjoy. What up guys, welcome back. Another day on the gold build. Some things have uh, indeed changed. One of which is that I finally invested in some safety wear. This is like a flame retarded shirt because I kept lighting my shirts on fire, especially when I was doing grinding and stuff, like when, when sparks were flying. Another thing is that I finished the trunk area on the inside. Didn't film it, sorry about that, but it was also kind of a learning experience for me and like all of the energy went into actually learning and progressing and figuring stuff out. And I didn't want to like spend time setting up cameras and stuff. I think it's quite clear that it was, it was quite a learning process. It was again a lesson in being patient with your material, with the heat of the torch, having the material cool down in between, making sure that the gaps weren't too big so you would burn through. A lot of stuff that I learned over there. So that's done, it's in there. Which leaves us to um, 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 um. Now back to me. So this is like the first time that I'm gonna cut into a part and then like when I weld it back in, it's gonna show if, if there's like horrible mistakes that I make, which I'm probably gonna do. So I put kind of a pressure on myself to, you know, make it perfect. And I mean, the car needs it. You can see that most of the material is sort of rusted away like this whole fender part here is gone this fender part is gone the inner fender is gone and people apparently didn't think it was worthwhile to after cutting out the rust on the inner fender replace that part so this maybe this is basically just all open let's see if you can see something there yep this is like open and it was filled up with like a rubber silicone thingy which was of course accumulating way more rust i think this has also been replaced at some point but they also didn't do that well of a job because the rust is coming through so yeah this this needs to be changed luckily i do have my replacement part here i already sort of traced it the replacement part on the outside this is actually where I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna make sure that I have some overlap here so I can trim the, the outer piece back all the way around. And yeah. So I'm gonna start peeling out the layers of the onion. I'm gonna do the outer skin first, and then I'm gonna replace the inner fender and then put the outer fender on top of it and make it flush with the rest of the body. That's sort of the idea. I hope it's gonna work. <laughs> and if not, I guess, well, then we'll just have to see. But I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confident that, uh, that I So yeah, with no further delay, I think it's time to start cutting. Wish me luck. <laughs> yeah, we'll just make a, a time-lapse of that. So cut to the time-lapse. Well, I guess there's no turning back now. Here's a giant hole in my car. Definitely not gonna pass inspection like this. <laughs> Holy shit, this is, it's, uh, it's something. So I cut out the side piece. This is the inner fender well, and the previous repair job was to not put back on this lid here, and instead just silicone it. So yeah, that's the, the rust that I was sort of expecting. What I did not really expect was that this part was also bad. I will probably cut something here and then like weld a piece and get this covered, which again doesn't really have to be that neat because this is gonna be covered up with the panel anyway. First order of business is to figure out the inner wheel weld. As you can see, it has been repaired before or attempted to. I actually took all of it off and it was like glued on with some, I don't know, industrial adhesive, chewing gum, whatever. I don't know what they, what they used. 
But what you can see is that it's actually like it's, it has been cut before here. It has been rusting quite a bit. So before I can close it off, I have to fix the, the inner wheel weld first. But before I can do that, I have to attack this little corner here. I already took out all the sheet metal that was here, treated it with some rust converted. I think it was supposed to be a plate or at least that's what I'm gonna make out of it. A section of sheet metal that's gonna go all the way down. So I can later make the wheel arch actually neat and have something to tack that onto. Also fold it right here and then make sure that it, that it meets up here. So it's like sort of one structure thingy. Got a bunch of cereal boxes that I gotta provide them with the cardboard. Then I'm gonna use for creating a little template first, make sure like everything fits, then transfer that to steel and, and tack it into place. So that's basically it. The first part of the grand plan of attack here. I guess we're gonna cut to a time lapse of me doing that. See you guys in a couple of seconds. We're at the end of the day and the panel is in. Coated it on, well, for you guys on the inside with some etching primer. And then uh, I made the classic mistake of thinking like, oh, there was like a, like a little hole. I'm just gonna dab it with the welding gun real quick and then like <laughs> make a very big hole. That sucked, so I solved it here with a patch panel, Ruger welded on. Not a real big problem because it's gonna be out of sight anyway. Couldn't get myself to that at this location where I made the same mistake. So I made a tighter patch panel, really fit it flush at the rest. There's still a little bit to do here, like a little bit of welding. And then I found this. Hoppa. So yeah, it's kind of a sissy fussian activity here, but I got further. I, I like what I did. I, I give it a 6.5 out of 10. There's progress. There's progress in the welding. There's progress in learning. And I think we should, we, I, my several personalities, should learn from this. And, and we should be proud of it. It's a sturdy, sturdy piece. It's in there. I actually already tested the big piece and it sort of sandwiches in a little ridge here, which is super nice because then at the end I can sort of sandwich all those panels together, have a sturdy rear quarter again. So yeah, next week I will set up the flare for the inner fender and then we get some, to some real welding, I guess. All right, my dear people of the internet, I think the time is finally there. I'm gonna add stuff to the car instead of cutting and, and, and like taking it away. It's like the first real step in building it up, which is gonna be awesome. But it's also super scary. So we'll see what's gonna happen. So what I did is I mocked up the replacement part. So I'm gonna cut the old inner fender here and then butt weld the new one. So I don't know yet what the time lapse is gonna look like. I'm gonna try to film it as best as I can. But you know, doing this for the first time, we'll see. Uh, <laughs> I probably have my hands full. <laughs> so yeah, gonna set it up. See you guys in a bit. Welcome to the editing cave. And yes, the fact that you see me here instead of in the workshop means that something has gone wrong. Don't worry, the car is fine, I guess. As it turns out, between the two years ago that I started filming this and me now editing, some of my video material got misplaced. So the way I usually go about these videos is that I explain my steps first and then go into a time lapse of me actually building. But since most of the video material is actually explanatory stuff, that's not gonna happen. And instead, I'm gonna go do a voiceover where I'm gonna explain my final steps. What are you gonna do about it? And who knows? Maybe I like this new format. Maybe you guys like this new format. 
maybe you guys usually skip through all the boring talky bits. I don't know. But all I can say for now is enjoy the final steps. And I will check back with you guys at the end of the video. I had to patch up some uh, areas of the inner fender before painting it. And then it was time to fit the outer fender. I started out by creating a small offset in the car body with a flange tool. And then it was a matter of carefully trimming the replacement panel until it fitted the body. Using the back side of the flange tool I punched the holes that would be used for plug welding. And then it was one final fit before plug welding the whole piece into place. I left the top side unflanged so I could butt weld it into place. I thought it was a good idea at the time, but it turned out to be a mistake because I burned some big holes in the body that I later had to patch up again. But finally the piece was in place and with only minimal warpage that I could later fix with body filler anyway. And then it was time to turn on to the other side to repeat the process. This corner actually turned out to be just as rusty as the first one. So I created a similar replace panel before adding a new lip of the inner fender. Fitment of the outer fender required some additional cutting, welding and trimming before it could be fitted. Oh, and that flame retarded shirt? Not so flame retarded. After some more trimming, test fitting, more trimming. I coated the inside of the panel with primer and paint to give it some protection against rust. And then I used some self-tapping screws to hold the panel in place as tightly as possible during welding. For some reason I made the same mistake by trying to butt weld the top side, resulting in similar patch jobs, but at the end it turned out well enough to be body filled later. And then it was time to join the rear quarter and the back panel. I started out by drilling holes for plug welds. And then I covered the inside of the seam with weld through primer to give it some protection against rust. After that it was a matter of plug welding and later butt welding the panels together. And then I repeated this process on the other side. Here you can see again how I used the self-tappers to really put the two panels together before welding. Quick visit of the flappy wheel and this rear corner was also done. And that's a wrap on a 
well, somewhat chaotic third episode of the gold build. As always, I had a lot of fun building and I hope that you guys had a lot of fun watching this video as well. So on the next episode, I'm gonna be tackling some more rusty bits. And uh, if you think that I made my life difficult by what I've been doing so far, wait till you see what's gonna be in store. But that's gonna be for the future. For now, if you have been, thank you for watching and see you guys soon.